All right, so I've got this awesome tip for you guys today because Where's one, your bright? Yeah, it is bright. That's the like, sunshine. I... Because one complaint that a lot of people have and why they don't eat fresh vegetables, that kind of stuff, is that it's not easily accessible. It's hard to prepare and it's a big fuss. So, I don't know what you're saying. we're going to make our own refrigerator salad bar today. Cool. So, yeah, I know. It's totally cool. And even brought in the bottom drawer of my refrigerator so that I can size up some boxes to fit in here. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just okay. Let's go inside. Okay, so I brought in the bottom drawer of my fridge. Oh, see? Yeah. Yes, and I even cleaned out all the brown sludge in the bottom because I am so awesome like that. And I brought in so I could size up some containers to fit in here to make a salad bar, okay? Just stay with me here. It'll okay. all make sense in the end. All right, so I'm getting this size right here because see, look how well they fit in there. See, look, yeah. fits in perfect. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm getting these in this. this they actually opened. I I don't know. I don't so, know. I so I guess you're I need to buy, buy them. Now. Yeah, I have to buy them. Okay, so I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna get ten of those. Mm -hmm. So they can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna get some of these little ones for toppings like olives and things that don't really you use a yep. lot of. Yep. They use a lot of carrots. Yeah. Or red onions. <laughs> you don't use a lot of red onion. Yeah. Or pork fat. You don't use a lot of pork fat. Hey, you don't need any pork fat. Corbin, chill. Zoom, zoom. So anyway. Zoom. Okay, so we're yeah, on the way. Can... We're gonna make a salad bar. We're gonna make a sa oh. We're gonna make a salad bar. Alright, so I'm back at home and here's my drawer that made the trip with me. Good boy! I'm going to put that over there. And I got out all my veggies. I got some carrots, red onion, cucumbers, radishes, bell peppers, tomatoes, broccoli, squash, just your basic salad fixings. And I'm going to start chopping just as much as I can to see how far we can get to packing up that drawer. All right, yummy, yummy. Where do I put all this? I'm just gonna yeah. put all my scraps here so I can toss it outside and feed all the little critters. Now I'm doing broccoli. And by the way, save these things because you can trim off that hard, yucky outside and use it in broccoli soup. Ew. It's an idea, not to waste. Don't you waste. All right, now I'm chopping up some carrots. <laughs> I'm just doing them kind of messy. They're just gonna go on a salad. No need to be pretty about it. So it's important to have protein in your salad. So I'm gonna put some chickpeas in there. Like too. skin balls? Skin balls. <laughs> My son calls them skin What's balls. This? Is that the most disgusting term for chickpeas you've ever heard in your life? What's this? What? Okay, so oh, no. I think I'm finally done. So it's kind of messy here, but that's cool. That's cool, but let me show you how awesome this is. Okay, you got your drawer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I just had to put these in here. They're not full, but it was just too cute to line them up like that. So I'm gonna find something to put in here because I'm just that anal. Okay. Um, so we've got some chickpeas, and remember you gotta have protein. So chickpeas and okay. rinse out the water, pack it in fresh water every time you use it, and the, and the chickpeas will stay fresh a lot longer. Mushrooms and broccoli. And see, you can see how pretty those are. I got some eggs in here. Chopped up eggs. Some carrots. I've got little things of radishes and red onions. And some, what is this? Oh, zucchini and squash. Some zucchini. cucumbers. Some tomatoes. Bell peppers. Yeah. And now remember, you got to take your drawer in. You can take your measurements, but it's just easier just to take in your drawer and figure out how everything's going to fit in there because you want the right size containers for your drawer so you can really maximize all the space in there. Again, this is a softer vegetable. It's got places for a lot of pesticides to hide. So you want to go organic. And just, it's, I know it's kind of pricey to get the organic greens, but it's worth it, I promise. Um, you can buy the heads yourself, but usually the cost just just evens out because sometimes you can find coupons for them. So, now I got my salad drawer, and oh, I'm just praying that it's gonna fit. 
Yeah. It's gonna fit. You think so? Oh. It's so pretty! It's missing a cute little label though, so I gotta make little salad bar. Oh, that's so oh, awesome. Oh, little puppy. Okay. Oscar, take a picture. Oscar, Oscar, uh -huh. Oscar, you want a biscuit? No, I need to keep that.